Alright, here is my Kerbal Space Program 3 minute challenge. Um, here it is at uh, 202 kilometers. Uh, and so this I did this while actually playing guitar and watching TV. Uh, so let's see if I actually pay attention, if I can actually do better, if I'm just, you know, better if I don't actually try. So anyways, let's give this a go. Um, I don't actually know what all's in this rocket. <laughs> I forget. There's a bunch of solids and then um, a couple um, liquid boosters. That's about it. The concept being that uh, actually for the last, I think, 30 seconds or so, um, I actually coast the whole thing out. Um, and the reason why is it's actually better to have in my... Whoa, get back on track. Um, in my experience, to have a um, lighter ship that accelerates better um, and just try to get going as fast as possible. Um, and then, um, you know, just just try to get going as fast and then coast lasts a little bit out because it's better to be going faster than to having have longer power. Uh, so it doesn't make much sense, um, but trust me, it's kind of like... You know why do why do little sports cars drive faster than you know big Lincoln Continentals? And the reason why is even though the Continental has a bigger engine, uh, the little sport tiny sports car has a uh, you know it's it's much lighter. It's you know it's it's pounds per I guess it's power to weight ratio. And so the concept here is to have a high power to weight ratio and coast the rest of it out. Um, and then there's no SASs even though the SAS right here is on. Um, there's actually no SASs, um, and so um, I have to very carefully try to keep this as straight as possible. Um, I'm not actually sure if it's better to go up at a slight angle so that um, you're not exactly fighting gravity, or to go straight up, um, but I'm doing this under the premise of straight up is better. Um, but actually in one video I did where I did the uh, uh, escape vector rocket, not vector, velocity, <sighs> escape velocity uh, rocket or satellite where I took up an extra bit of satellite and dropped it off and then returned to Earth. But I uh, had a escape. I was going so fast that it ended up escaping the planet, but I ended up returning. Um, if I, with that rocket, if I shot straight up in the air, um, it actually wouldn't work. I actually had to go to a slight angle. So um, I'm not sure. It just, I guess it's just going to depend, you know. On this, we're going at an angle, or we're going straight, I should say. Oh, no. Uh, I just noticed I haven't been at full throttle the whole time. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I did that. Uh, I wasn't at full throttle the whole time. I was accelerating too slowly. I was like, man, I'm not going very fast. And, man, that's... All right. I'll try this again. Anyways, <laughs> not the first time I've done that. <clears throat> but like I said, at an angle it just wouldn't work. Uh, or at an angle it worked, whereas straight up it just wouldn't work for some reason. And I think that works better because it was a very long burn. It was something like an eight minute burn. Um, whereas, of course, this one is like a two and a half minute burn, especially if I'm at full throttle. Um, but the idea here is just to get as fast as I can, as fast as longer, just because. Um, like you know every every few meters per second I added a low altitude whoa come back come back now um, adds exponential amounts of um, distance later on you know because I'm adding to that in the long term oh come on no 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 tell you what it is not easy ship to to manhandle I thought it was kinda of feeling pretty easy that last time just I guess but it's because I didn't have the full throttle up um, and it's also hard to see if you're in the middle. There's no like, you know, you're sort of like trying to keep in the middle of this circle of numbers. Um, but, uh, uh, man, I forgot what I was talking about. It's hard to concentrate and talk at the same time. Um, but I put up a video that was 190, um, 
kilometers, and I thought, man, it would be sweet if I could get to 200. And then I was like, oh, I can't make it to 200, but I, you know, I did way better than the last person, so I was pretty good. Well, somebody put up, uh, I think it's 197. Um, and so I'm gonna put my video. He actually just did a screen capture, but I'm gonna try to do a video of me doing uh, to 100 and, or excuse me, not to 100 and something, but to 200 uh, kilometers. And, you know, hopefully somebody else will, you know, be like, oh, dude, I got 110. You know, post a screen cap or something cool like that. Whoa. Uh, like I said, I'm not using any SASs just for getting the weight down as low as possible. The whole point of this is just as light as we can go. And, and even, I mean, we're going so light that we're not even powering through the whole thing. I actually did some experiments with longer and bigger rockets, but it just, this was the, uh, this is the rocket that just kept doing better and better. And so we just kind of changed out some of the early stages, trying to do different things. Um, oh, get back. And there, so now we're just going to coast out, but we're going really fast. We're almost going 3,000 meters per second, and so uh, we've got another uh, 20 seconds or so, and so hopefully that will be enough, and we'll have a pretty cool video for you guys, and not just be being like, uh, you know, failing, but like, oh, but look, before, see, I, I got it before. Let's see here. Can we do it in five seconds? Can we get that far in five seconds? Four, three, two, there we go. Whoops. Hit it too soon. Resume flight. There we go. So it looks like uh, 204 kilometers uh, out with uh, in my three minute mark. That's pretty good. And so I'm pretty proud of that. 304, 204, not 304, 204 kilometers. Um, and so I hope, I actually hope somebody tops it so that it challenges me to go better and farther. Um, but here's that.